When your Windows 10 computer isn't working as well as it should, one of the best ways to troubleshoot it is to start it up in safe mode. And if you've used older versions of Windows, like XP or Windows 7, you'll know that you could get into safe mode by pressing F8 when Windows started. This doesn't work anymore, and in this video I'm going to show you the new way to get Windows 10 into safe mode. This is Dave's Tech Rescue, where I solve your problems with computers, internet and technology. If you have a question you'd like to ask me, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss my next video where I might be answering your question. Today's question, how do I start Windows 10 in safe mode? Well, as you may know, safe mode is a way of starting up Windows with only the basic programs and services running, so you can work out what might be causing problems with your computer. There are two ways to get Windows 10 into safe mode, depending on whether or not you can get your computer to start up. So first, let's take a look at what to do if your computer does start up. If Windows starts up, but you're getting problems or errors, then you can put your computer into safe mode from within Windows. You need to go to the Start menu, then to Power. Now, hold down the Shift key while you click Restart. Holding the Shift key when you restart causes the computer to start up on this screen. Click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options. On this screen, you need to click on See More Recovery Options, which is at the very bottom. Then click Startup Settings, and click Restart. Now you'll see the startup settings screen. There are quite a few choices here, so read them carefully to see which one suits you. Just to point out a few common choices, 4 gets you into safe mode, where no unnecessary programs or services are run when the computer starts. 5 gets you into safe mode with networking, because it can be helpful to have internet in your troubleshooting. And if you suspect your security software could be causing problems, you could try 8, which disables early launch anti-malware protection. So press the number, I'm going to press 4 for safe mode, and wait for the computer to start. Sign into Windows, and you'll see the black desktop with the white text at the top, indicating that we're in safe mode. Now you can do whatever troubleshooting you need to do. And when you're ready to leave safe mode and go back into the normal mode of Windows, just click restart. When the computer starts up again, we're in normal mode again. Next, let's find out how to get into safe mode if Windows doesn't start up. If your computer fails to start up Windows, you'll need to get to safe mode another way. There's no shortcut key to get your computer into safe mode. Instead, you'll find that when your computer fails to start three times, it should go into automatic repair. If it doesn't, you can try turning on the computer, and when Windows starts to load, hold down the power button until the computer turns off. Then repeat this, turning on the computer, then forcing it to turn off, until you see preparing automatic repair. After a short wait, you should see this screen. Your PC did not start correctly. Now click Advanced Options, then Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options. When you see this screen, look at the very bottom for See More Recovery Options. Click on this, and then click on Startup Settings, then click Restart. Finally, you'll see the Startup Settings screen. Now you just need to decide which type of safe mode you want, and press the number key to start it. Did that help you get your computer into safe mode? Please let me know in the comments below how you got on, and if you found this video useful, please give it the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more tutorials from me, click on my face below and hit the red subscribe button. And while you're here, why not check out one of my other videos? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.